The second strategy uh, in this approach is the normative, the re-educative strategy. Here assumption is implies our social beings and will follow the culture norms and values. Anyone going against, against uh, their norms and values may face boycott. Change is based on redefining and reinterpreting existing norms and values and developing commitments to new ones. So what exactly the paragraph tell us? Uh, so we can say that uh, this approach describes that how the individuals make decisions regarding the change. So we can say that they are making decisions based on their cultures, based on their norms, traditions and values, not rational reasoning. It means in this sort of strategy, when the people, they are not using their rational reasoning power, what they use, they are making decisions regarding their culture. We can see lots of societies, whenever they are making any decision regarding the social context or the organizational context. So they are making decisions based on their culture. They are avoiding some activities or some practices in society. Why? Because their culture does not like those activities uh, to be performed. So even, you know, in, in organizations, the organizations which are against their culture, even some employees do not prefer to work in those organizations. The organization is against their culture. The organization is against their norms, their values, their traditions. So what they do, they're avoiding. So we can say that in this strategy or in this approach, what the organizations do and what does, what, uh, you know, uh, the people do in social context to bring change. They're, they're using, you know, this approach in order to attempt a change by what? Uh, by changing the attitude of the people or the attitude of uh, the employees uh, regarding their cultures, their norms, their standards. So we can say that in general, uh, this strategy can be used that to change the individual's behavior regarding their beliefs. So normally, as I said before, that, you know, in this strategy, uh, you know, the concentration is directly on the culture. And why we say like, you know, on culture, you know, I'm just uh, like, like giving you an example for it. Because, you know, uh, normally the people uh, like, you know, what, what they believe about their work, what they believe about, you know, uh, like, you know, the world where they live and what, what you know, uh, they believe about, you know, uh, the way they live. So normally, normally people, you know, they are just, you know, uh, like, like including culture. So whenever they work somewhere, so they're including their culture in work, uh, you know, they're, they're including their uh, culture, you know, even living somewhere. And also they're, they're showing, you know, like, like consistency about these points. The more they, it is okay, as I said, Hamisha, the boss of Jabi Bin Shumai Karman, I said, culture is the job show maker. Yani. Ikara ma mekanam, chura ki ba culture ma support mekana. Lekin avoiding some work because you know it doesn't support our culture. Bien kama bartan barazi yag misali bisar wazeh batam. Ke ta ke imazo bartan clear shaba. Agar shomali da bashin recently, in some in some countries, the people you know what 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 they were thinking about you know like one of a virus you know which out broke in many countries. So the concept about this virus, you know, uh, in many countries was uh, kind of that actually this virus does not affect them uh, due to, it means, you know, several reasons. Either, you know, they belong to, to a culture or, you know, a religion that it does not affect them. And even, you know, uh, like, like, you know, in Afghanistan, uh, people, uh, they weren't, you know, that serious uh, to take, you know, their hygiene a very serious matter. Like in the uh, first time, uh, like, you know, the health department in Afghanistan, uh, they announced uh, like, like, you know, a change. Uh, for example, you know, they asked the people to wash your hands a lot, keep social distance, do not hug each other, do not shake hands with people. For the uh, health organization, as Mardum Khos, Kibayt Ita Girata Biara, it changes a Biara. So all these changes, they were against the culture. So we have to hack, we have to shake hands. And uh, we, we are, you know, in very close relations, you know, with each other. 
خو ایت ایت استراتژی را مثال چطور هلت ارگانایزیشن یوز کرد و می خواست که ذهنیت مردم یا مثال بیلیفز مردم که از در رابطه به چینج کنه که وایرس جدی است از این خاطر ای مثال ای خلاف کلچر شما نیست که شما مثال شیرنگز نکنین شما سوشل کانٹیکس ختم کنین یا شما امرای دیگه هند شیکنگ نکنین یا هاگنگ نکنین سو هلت دپارتمنٹ و منسٹری آف هلت وٹ دی ڈیٹ ایجوکیٹڈ پیپل وہ کس طرح مردم ایجوکیٹ کردن وہ نارمیٹیو اپروچ استفادہ کردن وہ کلچر نارمس ٹریڈیشنز و ویلیو مردم کے ذہنیت والا در مورد شان تغییر دادن وہ یو نو ٹائم ٹو ٹائم دے دے جس یو نو ورکڈ آن دیٹ ای تغییر یو نو نسبت ان سلو بوت اچھا کہ چینج دا کلچر بیسر سلو میں آیا اٹ ٹک یو نو ون ٹو تھری منتھس وتا حال ہم بو لیول نیس دن ما 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 کیا اس مثال ہائیجین بو لیول یو نو ابزرو نہ میک نیم یا وی ار ناٹ فالوئنگ یو نو دا ڈائریکشنز آف دا ہیلتھ منسٹری لیکن چینج باس ہم آمد مردم ذہنیت خدا تغییر داد پشت کلچر نرفتن کی کلچر ای رمے گا کہ ما باید ہیک کنیم امرا یک دگاہ شیک ہین کنیم سوشل ڈیسٹرنس خدا باید با انمو لیول داشتا باشیم ذہنیت خواہ تغییر شد دا موردی در رابطہ با ای وائرس سو ای یک یک چینج اپروچ بود کہ مومنٹ آنیم کہ ہیلت دپارٹمنٹ ہم سال شبتیم کہ وہی ای اپروچ استفادہ کرد ذہنیت مردم ہم کلچر مردم بیہیویر مردم ہم لیکن چند چیز آبایت دا مورد نورمیٹیف یا ری ایجوکیٹیف سٹریجی ما باید بگویم کہ ای اپروچ ایٹس بیس فار لانگ رن یا فار لانگ ترم ای اپروچ کیا از با لانگ رن خوب می باشا بیکنز یو نو لائک کلچرز ان نامز ان ویالیوز کن نات بی چینج رپیڈلی ویدن ای دین نائٹ یو نو سو ایٹ میک ریئیٹ یو نو سٹیگما فار پیپل باز وقت کیا از ڈس اپروو میکنا کورونا وائرس کن بی لائک سپریڈ فرم ون پرسن تو انیدر پرسن بائی شیکنگ ہینڈ سو سٹل دی ار ڈس اپروونگ سو دیز ار یو نو سم آف لیمیٹیشنز آف نورمیٹیف اور ری ایجوکیٹیف سٹریڈیجی کمیگ ڈاؤن تو دی لاس ون دی پاور کوریسیف سٹریڈیجی از دی نیم سجیسٹ یوزنگ پاور اور انفلوینس ہیر اسمشن ایس امپلائیز آر بیسکلی کمپلینز ان ویل جنرلی ڈو وٹ دی آر ٹولڈ اور کن بی میڈ ٹو ڈو یعنی ہمیشہ امپلائیز کے اس وہ زیر دست مینجمنٹ میں بہت شاہ ٹاپ مینجمنٹ دے آر ان کنٹرول دے آر آثورائز سو ایٹ مینز دے کن یوز دیر آثورٹی دے کن یوز دیر انفلوینس ان دے کن یوز دیر پاور ان آرڈر تو برنگ دی چینج اینڈ دا سبارنیٹس ان دی امپلائیز ویل بی فورس فر ایکسپٹنگ دی چینج چینج اس بیسٹ آن ایکسرسائز آف آثورٹی از آئی ٹھولڈ یو دے کن یوز دیر پاور ان امپوزیشن آف دا سینشنز I can give you the best example for this. Momentum can be solved easily, but you can see that these days, you know, in some countries, uh, they they imposed lockdown. So now the imposition of the lockdown, it was you know forced by the government. Those people that who were breaking or violating the law, and they were breaking you know the lockdown. So what what the government did? They used their force, either you know like like uh, put them behind the bar or punish them. So in this kind of uh, change, the organizations or in social context, uh, the people can use, you know, the coercive power or they can use their influence uh, to, to, to force others for accepting the change.